What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can change your home YouTube setup from looking something like this to looking like this. Right? It's good. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Wesley Scott. If you haven't been around here before, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button if you like this video. Anyway, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how I went from here to here with just changing the position of the gear I use. I'm using the same exact gear I did in the previous shot, just changing it around, adjusting a couple of things. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. The topics we're covering are creating depth in your image, where to position your lights and how to soften it up, as well as your mic position to get that best audio quality possible out of your mic because audio is 50% of the game. So let's go ahead and jump into the first tip and talking about how to create depth in your image. All right, so first tip for you guys is creating depth in your image. Now. What is depth, first off? So depth is in simplest form is just creating a distance and a depth between you, the subject, and your background. This is just gonna create a little bit more separation, allow um, a viewer to see you as kind of the subject much more easily and be able to focus on you much more easily. So basically all it is is just separating yourself from the background. So basically what I did between the before and after, I took my desk, pushed it out about six feet or so from the background versus I was sitting maybe just about a foot off the wall, if that, in the first image. And th what this does is just allow a lot more separation between me and the background. It allows my aperture to get some distance and separate the background, create that blurry background that we're all after as well. A little tip for you guys if you don't have a lot of space, I'm shooting up against a flat wall right now, but if you wanna create some good depth with maybe not having a ton of space, shoot into what's called the L of the room or basically just the corner of the room. So turn your camera, point it at the corner, and then sit in front of that, and that'll create even more depth into your image. Personally, I've just set up this background on the wall here, so this is what I like to do. But that's gonna be tip number one for you guys is creating depth in your image. Right away, that's gonna help your image look a lot better than before. Let's go ahead and jump into tip number two. So tip number two for you guys is positioning your lighting in the right way. In the first image, I had my lighting straight on, which creates a really flat look. I also had it pretty far away, so it was pretty harsh light. I see this a lot in beginner setups of just positioning, of just putting the light head on, maybe using a ring light or something like that. It creates a really kind of dull, flat look in your image and it doesn't look that good. So what you wanna do, I kept the lighting on this setup really simple, I'm just using one light. What you're gonna wanna do is place it about 30 to 45 degrees off from either camera left or right and I'll bring it in as close as possible as you can. So my lighting is just off the camera left um, and it's literally just out of frame, like right here. I also soften it up as much as possible, which, which softening light basically means is just creating as big as a source as possible as you can. So instead of having like a small LED panel or even just a small little light with a little bit of surface area, shining it into a big soft box or even a shower curtain, I'll get to that in a second, you can create really, really soft light. So instead of having a light that's pointing at you that's this big, you're having a light that's pointing at you that's this big and it just creates a lot softer. It's a lot more flattering on the face, stuff like that. So softer light in most cases is always better light. So how can you create soft light if you don't already have a soft box, if you're just shooting with LED panels or something like that? Best budget option for you, you can go to Walmart, pick up a really cheap white shower curtain for like $5. I'll show you the same scene here with the soft box as comparison to shower curtain. It, it doesn't look quite as clean of the behind the scenes, but, this, but the overall image is gonna be very, very, very similar for a lot lower cost if you guys don't already have a soft box. So here's just the regular one with the soft box and then changing in three, two, one, boom. So I just recorded that entire segment, this one now that you're seeing uh, without my mic plugged in. So remember to do that too. But this is with the curtain, the shower curtain diffusion set up, no soft box. I just set up the shower curtain and shine my light through it. And that's what you're seeing now. And honestly, looking now, I haven't seen it in a post yet, but looking at it right now, it looks pretty darn good. It looks really soft. It looks nice, high quality, and it only cost me $5. So 
Don't think that you have to go out and buy this really expensive, nice, big soft box for you to get good professional light. Like this literally cost me, I think like 250 or $5 or something like that. Go pick one up at Walmart, just white. It's probably folded together about four times or so, creating about four by four square. Stuck that up and boom, shine my light through it and it's nice and soft. So something super easy. It doesn't take a lot to create soft light. You just have to put in the work to do it. So that's gonna be how you can create soft light. Again, I have it over at a 45 degree angle from the camera and you can see I have a highlight and shadow side of my face. That's what creating soft light looks like and that's how you can create more dimension and more depth just using lighting. Let's go ahead and move on to tip number three. Tip number three for you guys is getting better audio. Now, how do you do this? Basically, there's a few different ways to do it, but in simplest terms, it's just bringing the mic closer to your mouth. Bringing the mic closer to where the sound's coming from. It's gonna clean up the ambient noise. It's gonna capture your voice more clearly. It's just gonna sound overall much better. So, um, comparison to the before and after of this clip, I started out with the mic on board the camera, pushed back a little bit, um, it was about an arm's length reach away, um, and this is what it sounded like. This is a before and after audio test of the microphone position. The mic is sitting about an arm's length away from me right now. And then shifting that, I changed the mic to a, I put it up kind of on a boom and have it just about a hands, you know, hang loose away from my mouth. Being closer, it's gonna pick up my voice a lot better and push out ambient noise is a lot better as well. So you're just gonna get an overall higher quality um, mic input. Now, if you guys don't have a boom or anything like that, I have mine up on a C-stand right now, but if you don't have a C-stand, don't worry. Don't be afraid of having the mic in the shot if you have to, to get better audio. It's better to have the mic in the shot and get higher quality video rather than having the mic out of the shot and not getting as good quality audio. Audio is really important. You'll notice every single YouTube video you watch is not adjusting the quality of the audio, it's adjusting the quality of the video. Because when you don't have good audio on a video, people are much more likely to click off because it's very distracting, it's very annoying. So focus on getting that high quality audio even before you're getting that high quality video and that'll up the value of your videos for sure. So bring the mic closer to you as close as possible without being super distracting. That's gonna be tip number three for you guys. I'll push the camera back so you can see the overall look of everything um, and see where everything's positioned. Then we'll do a recap and that's gonna be it. I push the camera back so you can kind of see what's going on here behind the scenes. Talking about the light, I bring it in as close as possible to where it's just out of frame, but as close as it can be to uh, me. Because the closer it is, the softer it will be because the bigger the source will be on me, which will create softer light. And talking about audio quality, you can see that I have it up here on a boom and it's really, really close to me. Before it was all the way out here, um, like a full arm length away. And just the distance between that, you're gonna get a lot crisper and clearer audio by bringing it in close. Now, if you don't have a C-stand or a boom mic, you can just set up like a little tripod or set it as, you know, on top of the camera, but bring it in as close as possible. Um, just bringing the mic in as close as possible. Again, this is just right out of frame. Ooh, sorry for touching it. You wanna just have it just out of frame, but as close as possible. If you have to have it in frame, don't worry about it. No big deal. It's better to get higher quality audio rather than you know a clean rather than having your mic hidden in the, the image all right so that's gonna be it for today's video guys thanks so much for watching to recap three tips of creating more depth in your image separate the subject and the background make more flattering light by shifting it creating shape on your face and creating softer light by putting diffusion in front of it whether that's a soft box or a shower curtain and lastly, getting better audio quality, just bringing the mic close to you as possible, getting those right audio levels as well. I hope this video helps you get a better understanding of how to create a better looking image and a better looking home setup without actually buying anything extra. So that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. If you guys found some good value out of this video, go ahead and subscribe, share this video, and comment down what you'd like to see in future videos below. I'd love to help you out if you have any more further questions. But that being said, go drink some coffee. I already did, as you can see, unfortunately. Go be creative, and I'll see you in the next one. Also, I've always wanted to do this on a video. I saw Peter McKinnon do it for a long time, and I'm like, I gotta do that. So I finally got one. I'm gonna do it now. Ready? Peace out. I'll see you later. Boom!